Hello, math makers. Thank you for joining me again today. We are looking at lesson number two, or part two, of identifying and counting money. Since we're just getting started with money, I do want to start with a little bit of a review again before we start counting money. Last time we counted money on an open number line. If you haven't watched that video yet, I suggest you go back and, and watch that as well. Um, but if you have already watched it and you're looking for another way to count money, stick around. That's what we're going to do today. So as we get started, let's go ahead and review some terms that we need to know. We know that coins, uh, that's money that's made out of metal and can have different values. And we know different values means that's the different amounts it can be worth. Um, and of course, our, our, my picture's here front and back. Cents is the value of a coin. What's a coin worth? That's the number of cents it's worth. So a penny's worth one cent. A dime is worth 10 cents. So those different ones are, these are two terms that you need to know, as well as the names of the coins. So let's quickly go through these, and then we're going to practice counting some money. First, we have a penny. A penny is worth one cent, and we can write it this way. We have a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. A dime. A dime is worth 10 cents. A quarter is worth 25 cents. Of course, we can still write it this way. I'm always showing you how to write it up here on the side. We have the rarely seen 50 cent piece, the half dollar, because it's worth half a dollar. It's worth 50 cents. And then we have a $1 bill. And a $1 bill is worth 100 cents or $1. And of course, it tells us the answer right there. It has a one in all the corners, which tells us it's a $1 bill worth $1. All right, ready? Quick review. Again, another quiz. Let's go over what, our, what our, are our different coin amounts worth. Our first coin is a dime that's right and how much is a dime worth 10 cents what's our next coin a penny and how much is a penny worth one cent next right here we have a nickel that's right and how much is a nickel worth five cents that's correct up we here we have our Half dollar, and how much is a half dollar worth? 50 cents, half of a dollar. Then right here we have our last coin. It is a quarter. And how much is a quarter worth? 25 cents. I find it very interesting that a quarter down here on the bottom says quarter dollar because it's worth one-fourth or one-quarter of a dollar. And of course our last one right here is a one-dollar bill. And how much is a one-dollar bill worth? one dollar the answers in the name that's right now so what's another way we can count money now we're going to use a hundreds chart have we used a hundreds chart already this year yes so we already know how to use a hundreds chart so let's get started how can i use a hundreds chart to help me add money well we know that a nickel is worth fifth is worth five cents now this is going to be the one um, i'm only going to do two with the same coin this time and i'm going to do two that have mixed up coins because so i do want to get a little bit trickier a little bit more complicated um, as we move on through the lessons so each nickel is worth five cents so each time i count one how much am i going to add five because a nickel is worth five cents so as I start to add with my nickels, I'm going to put my first one for what my first one here at a five because that's how much one nickel is worth. And when I go to my next nickel, how much am I going to add? Five. So I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five. So when I have two nickels, now I have 10 cents. If I add another nickel, a third nickel, I'm going to add five again. I'm going to count by five. One, two, three, four, five. So now I have 15 cents. Then I'm going to add my fourth nickel. I'm going to count adding five again. One, two, three, four, five. Now I have 20 cents. So I've added one, two, three, four nickels. I'm adding a fifth. How much do I add again? 
Five again, that's right, because a nickel's worth five cents. One, two, three, four, five. With five nickels, I have 25 cents. And with our last nickel, number six, how much am I adding? Five again. I bet you already know the answer. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to land on the 30, which means if I have six nickels, I have 30 cents. Is that pretty simple? Remember we talked about when you add nickels, you're counting by fives? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And I can go all the way to 100 that same way. And if you notice, all of our fives are right here and all of our tens are right here. Next, what if I have three quarters in my pocket? How much do I have? That's not counting by fives. Uh, you may know how to, how to count by 25s already. If not, that's something else we can learn. Um, so a quarter is worth 25, which means every time I count, I'm going to add how much? 25. So if I have one quarter, I have 25 cents. So I'm already at the 25. Now I've got to get my second quarter, which means I'm going to add 25 again. Well, that's a lot of counting. But I don't know if you've noticed, if I go from here to here, that's 10. And we've learned in the past that if I go from down one, that's adding 10 as well. So I can use what I know already and what I've already learned to help me with this. So if I'm going moving down here, that's 10. If I move again, that's 20. And now I just have to add 5 because 25. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So now I have 50. Now, is that really 25? I don't like the way you did that. You're confusing me. Let's just, let's go slow and let's look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, I said that moving down is ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. If you remember, I said ten, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Do you see how that worked? Now, if I'm going to add a third quarter, how much am I adding again? 25 because a quarter is worth 25 cents. I'm going to use what I know about a hundreds chart again, and I'm going to count by tens as far as I can. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So when I have three quarters, I have 75 cents. Now, it's time to mix things up. Let's add some different coin amounts. I reached in my pocket. I pulled out some money. What do I have? I have a quarter, two nickels, and a penny. Now the question is, how much are those worth? I know a quarter is worth 25 cents, a nickel is worth five cents, and a penny is worth one cent. Now if you're using a hundreds chart, it might be helpful to write those down. So I might want to write down a quarter is worth 25, a nickel is worth five cents, a penny is worth one cent. That way I know how much I want to move each time on my hundreds chart. So if I start with my quarter, I'm going to start on the 25. Again, I'm, I'm, I like to start with the bigger number because it makes my other jumps a little bit smaller. It's easier to add 5 than add 25. So when I add my first nickel, I'm going to add 5. So I'm going to move 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to go to 30. Then I add my next 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I don't know if you've noticed, from here to the middle is five. From the middle to the end, that's five more. So I've added my quarter, one nickel, two nickel. I just need to add one cent, one penny. So I'm only going to count how far? One, which means I land on the 36. So if I have this, how much money do I have? 36 cents. Let's do one more. I reached in my pocket and what did I find? I found a half dollar. A dime, two dimes, and a nickel. Again, let's go back to our quick review. A half dollar is worth 50 cents. Dimes are worth 10. Nickels worth five. And again, I'm going to write down what those different coins are worth just to kind of help me know how much I'm going to add each time. A half dollar is worth 50 cents. Dimes are worth 10 cents. And nickel is worth five cents. So, Again, I'm going to start with that bigger coin. I like starting with that bigger coin. So I'm going to go all the way to the 50. I'm already halfway down my chart. So next I'm going to add how much? 10, because that's how much a dime is worth. So if I go 10, I'm just going to drop down one. 
And if you remember, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Every time I move down straight down, I'm going up 10 on a hundreds chart. So I'm going to add that first one and I'm going to go down 10. That takes care of that first one. I'm going to move my second one. I'm going to go down 10 again. Now I have 70. And now I just need to add my nickel. So I'm going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to land on the 75. So how much money do I have? 75 cents. So that's our last one today. Now, so we've gone two different ways that you can count money. You can use the open number line like we did in lesson one, or you can use a hundreds chart while you're getting used to it to kind of help you keep track of your counting. Both ways are fine for now until you can do it in your head. And of course that will come later. And the more you practice, the easier that will be to do. And again, that's what we're doing. We're making math easier. Guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope today was a little bit easier than last time. And until next time, we'll see you soon.